Howdy, partner. Load your six shooter, charge your laser shooter, and saddle up, because we're heading to the wild, wild west. Not the one with Will Smith and robot spiders. That's too wild. We're talking cowboys versus aliens, baby. Starring Harrison Solo Ford, Daniel Bond Craig, Sam Moon Rockwell, and Olivia House Wild. Cowboys vs. Aliens is a high-concept, action-and-adventure sci-fi western genre hybrid based on a 2006 graphic novel. Well, partner, you might reckon, now what is a high-concept film? I'll tell you what, a high-concept film is any film you can understand the concept of while you're high. Well, kind of, but that's my slacker take on the matter. A concept film is a movie that can be pitched in one to three sentences. It usually revolves around the idea of a what-if scenario. Some concept films contain the very premise in the title, like Hobo with a Shotgun or Snakes on a Plane. It's not often I get to talk about movies and some of my other favorite genres. Because the show is called Airlock Shock, not Creepy Corral. Well, partner, what in tarnation is this movie about? I'll tell you what, let's ride off into the sunset and we'll find out. Set in the year 1873, an outlaw named Jake, played by Daniel Craig, wakes up from a blacked out state with a mysterious metal gauntlet on his wrist. He wanders into the town of Absolution, which acts as a hub or a catalyst to meet a majority of the other characters, such as Sam Rockwell's character Doc, Colonel Woodrow Dollarhide, played by Harrison Ford, and his loudmouth douchebag son named Percy. The sun sets on the town of Absolution, and that's when the aliens show up to stir up a ruckus. The locals witness the attack and their neighbors getting killed or kidnapped. The townsfolk realize this town isn't big enough for the two of us. So they saddle up in search of friends and family, and the aliens that wrangle them. On their journey, the caravan has another run-in with the aliens while camped out inside the wreckage of a washed-up paddle boat. That's when Daniel Craig learns that his shiny metal shackle is a badass laser gauntlet that would make even that Iron Fellow or Samus turn their heads. Realizing that a handful of men and horses aren't enough to fight off these alien invaders, the caravan recruits an unlikely set of allies. Finally, peace on Earth, or at least harmony in the West. Cowboys, Indians, and outlaws all putting aside their prejudices and coming together that's the bulk of the plot without ruining the details of the finale. Now it's time to wrangle us some trivia. That iron fella, Robert Downey Jr., almost played our main character. But due to scheduling conflicts, he had to decline. The director made a cameo as a wanted poster that can be seen under Jake's bounty. The ice wagon that rolls through town at the end of the film is actually a precursor company to what we know now as 7-Eleven. Cowboys vs. Aliens isn't a good western, and it's not a good sci-fi. However, it's a greatly entertaining hybrid of both. Thanks for tuning in to Airlock Shock, only available on Nightmare Fuel Streaming. If you've enjoyed today's content, be sure to like, subscribe, or leave a comment below. I don't reckon what any of that really means, nor can I make a split of sense of it. I'm just a simple cow folk. I can't even reckon how I got on this spaceship. Be sure to check out our sister series, Tape Tomb, with Larry Downs. Join us in the chat on Twitch, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. We'll be playing some of our favorite sci-fi and horror video games. I'm Nick Haskin of Nightmare Fuel Streaming. And until next time, stay spacey, friends. <laughs>